Hello, welcome to the Let's Play Super Pinky World 2. Not Dark World. <laughs> mm. It's creepy. And I think it might have been this game actually, maybe you don't get it. Mm. But it's still an awful one direction. Yeah, see? Oh, no. You can have a thing shove up your butt and you're okay. <laughs> He's just okay in there, yeah. That's pretty amusing. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm gonna rape you, and Pinkie Pie's like, Psh, I'm Pinkie Pie, I don't I get care. raped every day. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not technically rape, you know, yeah. the part, uh, yes. so, yeah, this the, game is way more fucking easy, it yes, <laughs> yeah, the, the guy got, at this point, he got better at, um, coding, so he did, he, even to the end of the third game, he had one problem in his code always, sometimes he glitched through the stuff, yeah. Yeah, I have had that problem. Um, which that is unfortunate, but yeah. Let's see, I'm trying to, um... I don't know. Yeah. It, it, I, oh yeah, I was gonna mention, it's kind of funny, because it was like, he got better programming, and then he made, um, Twilight Sparkle's library defense, and he forgot how to program. But yes, that's because he stopped caring and just decided to be an art guy instead. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, then yeah, everyone... that's why he stopped caring about his games. Yeah, and then everyone's like, uh, Actually, we don't really he, like I that. I would do up like 10 people about that, right? But then he stopped doing oh. that too. Oh. I guess there were people who were happy, you know. I, I personally wasn't, but, you know. Oh, then again, I I don't know that I was ever that happy. You know me, I'm not I'm not happy. I'm I'm You're too busy being a Huh? You're not a happy individual. No. Let's like see if um I can do this, actually. Like you see that parasite trying to rape you in the ass? I fucking hate that guy. I wish he'd die. All those parasites need need How to the go. Fuck do I do this? Huh. Yeah, that was correct. Nice going. Okay, now this is level 10, which is probably not as fucked up as other ones. Eh, not quite, though I did have some issues with this level 10. Like oh, that. Nice yeah. job. There's so much more to see in here. God. <laughs> Almost. Hey. No, hey, it's not my fault. Well, it's not your fault. This game just kind of like set me here. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, you're doing the level 10 again. Oh, that is what it's called, almost. Yeah, exactly. Oh, interesting. It, it's, yeah. So, it's yeah, I think the... you put that in afterwards. Yeah. I do want to see one thing, though, because I do, and now I'm really curious what game this, what game that was. Where you, um, if you get 100%, I'm still pretty sure it was the third one, and not this one, but I do want to see for something. Okay, that's fine. We can do a second run. I mean, this clearly isn't taking any super abundance of time or anything. Yes. This last cupcake is oh, actually the biggest problem because it's a douchebag. Yeah, because <laughs> if you don't get it, you, you know, yeah, it's either get it and win the stage, get it and, you know, win the stage and don't get it, or get it and die. I, or, you know, something like that. Yeah. So. Yeah, if, if you don't get it though, something happens and you're not gonna be able to try again. Hmm. But uh, yeah, 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 if you, if you get it, if you don't get it, but you end the mission, you don't have 100% and then the game ends. Yeah, so you exactly. finish a game, but you don't want to finish a game, you want to get 100%, which I do think in this game was still a lot, but... Like I said, I don't remember which of them, I'm pretty sure it was the other oh. one where you have to get 100%. Yeah, see, that's so. what I mean, did you see? I glitched <laughs> through the platform. Yeah, I saw that shit. She just literally fell through the platform. No, uh, she's probably was still what she because then he could learn some lessons. Yeah, but like, he is making do that. games. It's like it's just a, yeah. yeah. I don't actually know if he still makes games. I know he made them. Um, he made that one game, a point and click game, which I got super sick of because I hate point and clicks. And then that was which done. Uh, it, it was it was based on the um, season finale of two, where it's you wake up with Twilight, I think, in the caves. Yeah, mine escape. Yeah, and then I have to finish that. Yeah. It's funny, I didn't either, and I like point and clicks, but there's just 
something like I, I don't know. There's something that I never quite figured out what I was supposed to do through most of the game, and I, I eventually I gave up. So I'm like, I don't get it. Uh, what, what? What? Yeah. It was definitely one of those point and clicks that you can accuse of having this issue of, um, yeah. Uh, God, the platform <laughs> is such a... It, you're not allowed to fall at the platform from any height. Because it's see, I think that... Blah, 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 blah. I think that's actually another uh, um, frame update problem. Where, um, it calculates the distance that you fall each frame, and then it sets you down that frame. But while it sets you down the frame, it probably hasn't done yet a collision check with the object below you because it because it can't just do collision checks with everything at all time. Maybe that would take away too much CPU power. I don't know. Point being, so it glitches you through this object because it, it sets you down like that's say five centimeters, but it hasn't actually calculated in that there's a platform in the way. You, you know, I've been um because I remember we did the alert. Alone the Dark game, the first one, and yes. then all the others were shit, and so I wanted to check to make sure that the new one was indeed shit. And, um, I heard that's a common problem, not exactly this, but a common problem in the new Alone in the Dark, you'll just be walking along, and all of a sudden you'll, like, fall through the ground and die. Yeah, which I don't know what they have, because I'm assuming this is not the problem they have, because here it's obvious, you can see that it's only if you move quickly that you have fled to the platform, which probably has something to do with the upgrade, updating of... I don't know if it's a frame, but updating of, like, your character and where it is, and the hitbox, that's actually, it's a hitbox problem. Because I do know that my brother yeah. has some of his program updating stuff. Hey, um, yeah, I, I obviously don't know much about programming, but I was just like, considering that that's, you know, a professionally made game, that's pretty shitty. But yes, I, I don't know what they is, because... And I, thanks, game. I cannot let go of that thingy. I'm doing this one last time. Now. Uh, sounds good. So, uh, Alone in the Dark. You guys are probably not gonna see Alone in the Dark too, if anybody was wondering. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, I still have the raw files, but uh, I don't know if Creamy uh, wants me to upload them. <laughs> I, I still can't decide. We just we basically played Alone in the Dark 2 and like saw that it had gone yeah. We we played it for about a half hour, hour, whatever. Like this game has guns. This game has guns and bad gun controls. This game is really crappy and we hate it. And th and then we basically gave up after deciding. You know, the fact that everything in this game takes half of your cartridge to kill okay, okay. freaking I'm not letting this go now. <laughs> okay. Fucking but every... you for stop going into it. But yes, Lone in the Dark 2, it's a shooter. It's yes, enough. and everything in the game. That's, that's all you have to know in the first place, because you control a horror game. And then literally every monster takes half of your, uh, you know, gun yeah. ammo to kill. Which I guess uh, the point is, because the moment you leave that screen that we never left, like if you get into those caves, you instantly lose all your equipment anyway. Oh. But it's still uh, anything then you can find other shooting guns. But there we go. Yeah. That's that's uh, it's just so lame, because the original was a good survival horror game. They didn't have an emphasis guess on guns. Guess, guess what nationality the you guys were. Uh what? French. Oh. Did you know something funny about Frenchies? They have this what? they have this weird habit of knighting the um, game for for the developers. This is not even a joke. Um, the guy who made Raymond, the original guy, um, he got knighted and he was French. And the, this guy, he also got knighted and he was French. It's the French guys oh. really love knighting the guys. Hmm, apparently so. Which is really weird because it's like, turn into knight for video game development, okay? Yeah. That, that is really weird. Uh, for, unfortunately, I think getting knighted turned, goes to their head or some shit, or, you know. But, yeah, he didn't actually, he didn't. Okay, I'm done. Uh, he didn't. Actually, now I have to finish my sentence anyway. He did not actually program in the second game. Oh, I guess that makes sense. I guess that's usually what I should assume when, um, you know, good games go terrible. I guess, uh, uh, I, I read a lot into it, um, after he finished Alone in the Dark 1, um, even before they had released Alone in the Dark 1, the, like the main company, the bigger one that owned the smaller company, 
And I yeah. told them, like, the next game has to be a game that says. Like, it, it, it doesn't matter what they make it, you just have to make a game that says. Like I said, shoot us. And he, and then they also took away his credit for mostly for the game. So, he then left. So, yeah. <laughs> but I they still had some of the assets from before, which is probably why they still had some of the stuff, like the graphical stuff. Yeah, yeah, the fact that the graphical stuff could have been cool, because, yeah, the guy, that's probably pretty much what the guy worked on. He started printing the game up, and then they, and then he started designing the levels, and then they said, let's shove guns into this level, and he was like, I quit. Fuck yes. you. What, what was it? Zombie pirates with trench coats? Mafia? Gangsters? Yes, yes, gangster fucking zombie pirates. Yes, no, I'm pretty sure everybody wants us to play this game. That sounds fucking awesome, but like it's not. It's not. No, it's not. It's yeah. It's just like the the second game with fucking demon trees. Demon trees aren't awesome. Fuck demon trees. I mean, not the second game. The fucking new game. Yes. Fucking um, music in this game, though. Remember, we know who made this music, which you probably can't hear. <laughs> no, I don't. It's from Rainbow Crash. I believe mean, oh. Rainbow Crash. I need. Yeah, I like I I like that guy. It makes him really nice, you know. Yeah, chip he is, this is when he stood at chip to us. Oh, he does weird music. <laughs> like, oh, he did, the, he did all the stage scenes for the fighting his magic. Yeah, I remember that. Man, ah, oh, nice. Oh wait, you didn't get it. I got it, but uh, it's like first fights gave me the same moment. Oh. Okay. Ah. So. Anyways, thank you all. Oh, wait. What are you doing? I thought doing you it one more time. Hi. What, Leroy Jenkins? Oh, okay. I guess I can keep talking about shit. So, um, yeah, New Alone in the Dark. I haven't played it, but it sounds like it sucks. And something that, that, that actually bothered me, I don't know if it should or not. The only way to kill any enemy in the game is fire. fire. Like, you get other weapons, but the only thing that damages anything in the game is fire. Uh, like, that's, that's better than guns. Yeah, except <laughs> you basically damage them using guns with fire. Like, you know, you, you damage them using, you know, fire on your guns to make fire bullets. Or How setting the fuck fire does that work? stuff. It, it, I don't know. Oh, you should like, fire you don't bullets. exactly, you don't exactly, uh, I, it, 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 and the creation of firebolts is really shitty, because what you do is you get, like, fi uh, alcohol or gasoline or some bullshit and just pour it on your gun, and it's like, that's not how it works. That's not, that's certainly not how you create fire bullets. Fun fact, I know, I know, I know there's such a thing as incendiary ammo, which is basically fire bullets. I don't really know how it works, though, but it's, you know, the kind of things that the military has. It's, you know, citizens can't go around with incendiary ammo. But yeah, there's, I'm pretty sure this was a game where um, I, I try to do it without uh, taking any damage, because at least this game, it's very possible to do it with my HP and um, took damage. Once. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I know, so, yeah, I can, I can see you doing that in this game, um, so, I don't know, that was ridiculous, and once again, there is actually pretty big, but focus on guns, because that's, you know, fireballs yes, so and guns, yeah, uh, I, 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 I don't know, ah, okay, we're done, okay, sounds good,